Hi, welcome to the 8th episode of Learning Basis of Krita as a digital painting and illustration application. Would you like to add some effects right at the time of painting on a layer already painted? Well, blending mode is just for this and this episode we will cover some of them to make your painting oh so special. We have already seen how powerful layers can be and with alpha lock or alpha and higher tens in Krita, layers have powers which is beyond the normal scope of traditional work. But even that can be taken up a notch or two by using blending mode. And Krita has massive blending mode to choose from. What is blending mode? Well, it is a mathematical way to manipulate colors and values on already painted layer and just like using alpha inheritance, this can also be non-destructive. This is more of a derivative work where values and colors are derived from something already painted. For example, you want to paint shadows on an already completed painting. A simple blending mode will help you avoid the hassle of choosing right color and repainting. Ok, let's fire up Krita to understand some of the blend mode and their effects. On the layer docker, there is a download list which is by default set at normal. With this mode, anything painted on top layer will completely block the visibility of the lower layer. But once you drop down the menu, there are just tons of options. Since this tutorial aims at beginner's level, we will try to cover only few of them. When you change this mode, the layer will become the blending mode and it will start affecting the base layer. So I have tried reading the technical aspect of each blending mode and will explain as much as I understood. But we will take a look at each effect in a particular way. First, how does the value affect the blending mode? Second, how does the color affect the blending mode? The first is addition. As the name suggests, this blending mode will do addition of values and hue information from top layer to bottom layer. Let's start with values. Complete white will override the colors making addition too strong. Mid-tone gray will lighten it up a bit and black will reveal the original color. Now let's try to change the color and we will see that lightest value of the color will override the base color. Mid-tone will slightly add the color and darkest will again reveal the original color. Burn mode. This is a great way to add shadows to color since it uses existing color and make burn in effect. Again this mode has dual effect, darker value will have maximum burn effect. So if we choose white it will have no effect as white is unable to cause burn. Midtone gray will give this beautiful dark color and is an excellent tool to create region under shadow. Black will have maximum burn effect and will make everything, well, black. Let's use color and you see we have again have lightly burn effect from the lightest portion. The mid portion have more burn in effect and dark will have maximum burn in. Remember, different colors will have different effects so best is to use this desaturated gray color to have a great control. Color mode. If you have a grayscale image, color blend mode can add colors to it by respecting the values. The best case scenario is converting any grayscale drawing into a color drawing. But there is a special use case. It can help in affecting overall color mood. You can paint a layer dark and use this mode. You can change the mood of all the colors painted underneath. Color dodge. This is opposite to what burn mode is doing except this is also account for the color. So again using different values, white will create lighter color, mid will create slightly lighter color and dark will reveal original color. Changing colors have different effects but essentially it tries to reveal the lighter color if the values are on the lighter side. Darken. It only compares the base and blend colors and will keep the darkest of the two. If the blend layer and the base layer colors are the same, then there is no change. So if you choose white color, it has no effect as base is already darker. Choosing mid-tone will create a slightly darker version and black will get you the darkest. Choosing the color mode will have similar effect but it will add both color also. So the color will change. Divide. It is kind of like opposite to addition mode, but the effects are greatly magnified. White will again have no effect, mid-tone will create lighter color. But since this is divide, the effect is super magnified. Black will just make it super light and make it white. Changing color has no effect, it will act as value have changed. So if values are same, no matter what the color, the effect will be same. Erase. As the name suggests, it erases the color and values from the bottom layer. It's a very good option for non-destructive way to erase something. No matter what the value or hue you select, painting anything will erase and erasing the paint will reveal again. Lighten. 
the light and blending mode takes a look at the base color and blend color and it keeps whichever one of the two is lightest thus lighter value will try to override the base black will have no effect similarly if you change color if the color is lighter it will try to override the base color luminosity luminosity preserves the hue and saturation of the base layer while adopting the luminosity of the blend layer this is very unique as this blending mode alone can create highlight and shadow you just have to change the values darker will create dark colors and lighter will create light colors including black and white colors have no effect on this and only values are considered for blending multiply this blending mode multiplies the luminosity of the base color by the blend color the resulting color is always a dark color this is opposite to divide and has a very strong effect white produces no changes different levels of darkening depends on the luminosity value of the blend layer the best use case is creation of shadows and yes colors do affect it colors will get multiplied for the darkening effect and will try to override the hues also overlay it is a combination of multiply and screen with the base layer always shining through but the effect is 50% of multiply and 50% of screen majorly used to paint very bright special effects even the darkest value that is black only affects partially changing colors has no effect thus this is another blend mode which is more value oriented rather than color oriented saturation this simply removes the colors and turns the below layer into grayscale no matter what you use any value or color will simply desaturate screen the resulting color is always brighter color black produces no changes while the brighter pixel remains screen can produce many different levels of brightness depending on the luminosity value of the blend layer making screen a great blending mode for brightening images or creating highlights white will completely overshadow the base mid tone will brighten it up slightly and black will have no effect or simply remove the effect changing colors will have similar effect but colors will be overridden if it is brighter okay guys this is it we have tried covering the major blending mode and in the future we will try to use them practically to understand how we can fit in this blending mode to our advantage thanks for watching and till we meet next time bye bye